Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, I hope you are having an amazing day, no matter where you are, you're having a blessed moment. Um, today is, it's, it's a special day. Why? Because just like any other day, because every single day of your life, as long as you are here, you can see, you can hear, you can feel, you can touch, you can taste every essence and senses of yours is alive. That means it's a good day. Today, um, I posted something on my story and it is the little face of my dog because the, we were, I want to talk about the healing powers of dogs because today is National Dog Day. So on this National Dog Day, I want to celebrate our loyal companions that are little furries and polly and uh, you know, they have this essence and the power to heal us. Uh, I wanted to talk about how the healing of what I do and the healing of a dog, how it balances each other off. So there are really no words to express um, the feeling of owning a pet, especially a dog, because dogs have this unconditional love um they have this playful spirit and their calming presence have you ever come through the door and you've had a very bad day and the moment you walk in there's this uh, wagging tail just greeting you and it's as if all your stresses can melt away just by seeing your dog greet you. Um, for many, the essence of a dog is more than just an animal. It is this, their baby, right? So let us uh, tap into it. I wanna bring some of the points that I have. Dogs are and can be the emotional healers for not only children, as they grow up with them, but also adults, yes, and seniors, especially seniors, because nowadays we even have uh, police officers, even in my city, city of Glendale, California, we have this companion dog, the community dog that goes to schools, that goes to the senior living, and they just love petting this dog. Of course, he is trained, but have you ever come home to realize that this dogs have this incredible ability to take all your stress away and they are playful when you take time just playing with your dog even that five minutes or ten minutes that you play catch it's as if it's the dog the ball and you and nothing else matters that moment you go into a zone state just like hypnosis it's like a zone state nothing matters you're a part of everything you're in a park you're in your backyard you're you can be in the backyard of your house in the street but when you're playing fetch oh my god the joy of your dog running just to catch that ball and bring it back not only they're mesmerized so are you so because dogs have this ability to reduce stress and elevate your mood this simple act of petting a dog can lower your cortisol level which is the stress level and also release oxytocin which is the love and the therapeutic levels in your body when we connect with a dog, we experience unconditional love. We have more conditions with our children, with our parents, with our siblings, 
coworkers, friends, than when we have with a dog. There are so many who worry about their dog's wellness more than their own. And if you are uh, a dog owner and you've experienced this, by all means, share with me what is the things that you do. Um, we thought, <laughs> I have a friend. Actually, I was one of them. Um, my time away from my dog and my dog's wellness, how long he's going to be in the house so he is not alone, and I worry about him being alone in the house. It's like, okay, it's already five hours. Okay, six hours maximum. I don't want him to be alone. And yet I go to bed and he sleeps as long as I'm in bed and he wakes up. He does the paw for me to get up so I can take him for a walk at seven o'clock in the morning. So he's in a way also my clock to wake up. But when I'm asleep, he's asleep unless there's something that he needs to bark about. So this therapeutic effect of a dog, it's, uh, as I said, playing with a dog, it's absolutely that game of fetch it's very therapeutic. Playing is therapeutic. Um, dogs also encourage you to move. Taking your dog for a walk, it doesn't matter if you're on a path that you go, you go hiking, you go around uh, the house, around the corner, or you do your three hours uh, hike and your dog is with you, you go on the trails, the dog is with you. It is absolutely amazing for your body's movement. Actually, it's been t said, you know, one of the remedies about depression is when you feel depressed, get up and move. And it can go the opposite because so many who are going through depression and he, they come over here uh, for me to help them through hypnosis and hypnotherapy to overcome the depression is when I say get up and move. Do one thing. It's they say, I have absolutely no strength, no stamina, neither do I even feel like moving. But when you have a dog, believe it or not, and it doesn't matter if you're depressed or happy, you do get up to take care of your dog because their needs become a little bit more important than yours. So walking, running, sleep, simply playing with a dog, it's absolutely amazing. Another thing for those who feel depressed or down, having your dog sit next to you or when they lay on your lap and you're petting, oh my God. It's just amazing petting your dog. You know this caressing? You don't even have to hum because that simple caressing and when they roll over and they show their tummy to you, that means I completely and utterly trust you. And you rub their tummy which in a way that motion of rubbing their tummy is an internal process because your subconscious also feels the same as if rubbing the tummy, that entire massaging, rubbing, caressing, not only they feel loved, but it is a very loving gesture of you connecting and your body feeling that soothing strokes. And of course, when you're rubbing and if you giggle and if you tickle them, they start doing their paws and their way of smile makes you smile. So do you see how this beautiful cycle and it's like a circle that goes round and about, round and about, round and about of loving, nurturing, healing, playing, joy. 
And it's a creating this place of safety with one another. That's absolutely amazing. You know, I, I remember having a dog when I was a little girl. And then I've always had dogs. Uh, always one dog, never more than one dog. I guess because I'm an only child, I brought one dog. I don't know. Never thought. Actually, I did think of bringing another dog so they are companions, but my one dog became my specials. And they've always been small and homey, uh, not an outside dog. So dogs are a bridge. I like to bridge this and say dogs can be a bridge for mindfulness because they live in the moment. What happened yesterday, a, a week ago, it's not something that they worry about just like humans. They don't even think about what happens an hour from here or tomorrow. They are very much present. You walk with them, they are present for that moment. They sniff, they pee, they do whatever it is at that moment. So I like to call it, they are fully immersed in the present. And their mindfulness can be very contagious and teach you something. Because when they are present, you look at what they're looking at, unless you're on the phone. But being present with your dog, you learn what they smell, how alert they are, and you become alert. My dog, it's like he can hear the coyotes as fast as I can hear them. And he knows there's someone behind us before I do. So they are also a protective mode for us. So it's whether it's you're watching your dog um, gleefully run after bunnies, birds, or anything that it's moving, it brings you to this moment of presence. So, of course, dog being the companion, especially for seniors, um, I know the best thing I did after my father's passing, I had a dog, my Shih Tzu, uh, my Bodhi was with me. And uh, after my dad died, a year and a half later, I moved in with my mom. And of course, Bodhi was with us. Bodhi was a part of our life. And I've always rescued all my dogs. So to me, rescuing a dog, it is the most precious thing to do. And it doesn't matter um, if you purchase them or not, dogs are dogs. So dad died, I moved in with mom, and a few months later, my dog, uh, Bodhi, passed away. And he went into doggy heaven, right? So it took me about six months, seven months, and I had promised myself not to bring another dog because emotionally I, I was spent. I had already put down three of my dogs. I was like, you know, that's good. Mom was so attached with Bodhi. She loved him dearly. So six months later, I've got that itch. Started going to different places and seeing dogs from one uh, kennel and everywhere and told the matchmaker of the dogs, the rescuer, I'm ready. We tried a few dogs, it didn't work. And until I got to see this one dog and it was the mummy of Winston, which I have right now, and I was gonna bring a female dog in. I go to see that one and Winston comes to my leg literally grabs and starts playing with my pants, the bottom of my pants, I look, I fell in love. There's a saying that we don't choose our pets, they choose us. And I think it is one of the most beautiful things because when I brought him home, my mom is like, oh my God, this is a puppy. 
Yes. When he came home at 10 weeks, the pee pee and the poo poo and everything for the six, seven months of our life at home with my mom, poor thing. It was like, I thought my mom is gonna throw me out of the house or the dog or both of us until we got through all that until two years old with the chewing and everything and all the baby stuff now he's almost six years old and the most precious thing that there is i think he is more of her dog than mine until i walk into the door so realizing the gift that they are not only therapeutic uh, presence help you become loving uh, takes you out of depression and makes gives you time to play and be present with yourself and forget about everything else and in conclusion I want to say I won't give up anything to be with my dog dogs are far more than just being pets they're healers companions teachers i learned more from my dogs than anything else and their loyalty it's unsurpassable so whether you're dealing with stress recovering from trauma simply seeking to deepen your connection uh, with joy dogs are your best friend that's why they have been labeled as such and they are so i can say happy national dogs day to each and every dog owner because you have the best gift in life and they bring us love joy and realizing there's so much to live for in this world so let go and greet each and every day with a waggy tail and until next week which you will be surprised when i come live next week because of where in the world i am i look forward to connecting with you um stay tuned and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Lisa Bubari. Check my blog. The link will be right here in the bottom. And I look forward to connecting with you uh, again and again. Thank you for all the emails and the messages. And until next week, God bless you. And may the universal light surround you always. Thank you. Yes, until you want to put the harness on. Um, <laughs> they insist on rubbing. That's their playfulness, Adrian. That's what makes you irritatedly irritated and then laugh. Bye bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.